Hey guys, it's Angel B here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at Minecraft mods that are world gen that make your game just look so much more prettier. So before we get into this video, if you are enjoying my content, please leave a like and subscribe. If you aren't already, turn notifications on to get updates on when I upload. And let's get right into the video. So this first mod is called Farm Adventure 2. Now this has 16,000 downloads and it definitely needs some more. This is for 1.15 or 1.14 and it adds new biomes to the game and also these little creatures here, which are so adorable. It has new bosses, new elements, new biomes. This is one of the biomes. This is the Canadian Boreal Forest. As you can see, it adds some new woods, some new trees, some new crops, which are tomatoes. It adds these little houses that spawn in the world. The door is on the other side, but I'll just break in. And then you have some of the ores, some of the gems that this adds. Crabs, we've got some orange crabs. They're so cute. We've got this, <laughs> Blend Explorer which are like dwarves, warrior dwarf, deers, goats, ancient golem, which I think is a boss, a grass dinosaur. Oh no, this is a boss. And when you kill the boss, you get elements, a beetle, brown goat, a farmer, a baby golem. Oh, the rainbow goat, which is so cute. This is called a special goat. It also adds spells and a magic element to it. Backpack. New building blocks like Himalayan salt, limestone, fruit trees, and different types of woods and mushrooms. So this next mod is called Bio++. Now this adds around five new biomes and I am in one of them right now. It's called the High... It's called the High Mountains and it's basically a mountain biome but when you're on top of the mountain it's like such a pretty plains type of vibe. It's very hilly, it's very cute, it adds this little structure here which is a little campfire and a bed and a tent. It kind of reminds me of Beta Minecraft when it was more Beta and the terrain. Like it's on a mountain but when you're on top of the mountain it's like such a pretty place to live. It's very hill-like, there is a few new plants. Another biome is this one which is a high tiger. It adds this super high biome which is a snow mountain. I need to try and turn my render distance up for this one. So this next mod is called Lush Biomes. Now this adds some new features to the game, such as these cute little flowers, which go so well with vanilla Minecraft and these little oak bushes. It adds some little forest owls, which are adorable. Oh, they're so cute. There's some flower plains biomes have kind of had a little overhaul. It adds these basket of golds and different types of sunflowers to the game. Californian pop. They just make it look so cute. It also adds a couple other features, which I'll insert pictures right now, as I think they're quite rare and I haven't come across them yet. So this next mod is called Mushroom Quest. Now this overhauls the mushroom biomes. I have done a video on this before, but it has had a really good update since doing the video. So I am going to show you, add some new creatures such as this jelly shroom, which is so cool. It adds some new types of trees to the mushroom biome. It adds these creatures here, which this snail is like the best thing ever look at it it's so funny it adds little structures like this with new types of mushrooms and blocks some of the creatures is the jelly shroom which gives me effects we have a larger jelly shroom which is kind of scary shroom fog which if you've seen my last video it adds a mushroom village and mushroom biomes are pretty difficult to come across and i don't think there is one in this 
mushroom biome. But you can check out my other video and I talk about this mod a bit more in depth. Mijamite burrow worm, which is a monster, but oh my god, it's so cute. I know, cute, it's like the wrong word. It reminds me of that creature from Stranger Things, a demogorgon. It reminds me of a demogorgon. It adds cute little funglings and you can give them a alluring powder and it will tame them. It is just such a amazing pretty mod. This next Minecraft mod is called Enhanced Vanilla and it does just that. It enhances the vanilla game. There seems to be a new plant right here which would be wild carrots. It adds some new type of blocks which is parquets. I I, I'm saying that completely wrong. I know. It adds like thatch, tambag, just new types of material building materials that are like very vanilla themed. It adds some new pies to the game. Chorus pie, carrot pie, berry pie, beetroot pie, and an apple pie. In the swamp, it adds mud, which you can create mud bricks with. It adds this new structure, which is a pillager archer tower. It has a pillager spawner and a chest with some cool stuff in. I'm trying to find the other biomes that it adds, which is a lavender field and an amaranth field. They look really cute. I'll put the images on screen right now. Because they seem to be a bit rare. This next Minecraft mod is called Primal Winter. Now this makes the game a winter land. <laughs> the grass is replaced with snow variants, there's ice spikes, it works with other mods, like other bio mods. It's like it makes the game a bit difficult and it's a different type of survival. Everywhere it's snowing. It's good for if you want to do a challenge. This next Minecraft mod is called Terraforged. I have done a video on this before too in a different type of video, but I am including it in this one because it is a world gen mod. On the loading screen, you choose the Terraforged world type, you click customize, and it works with biomes of plenty and the biomes you go. You can view a little preview of what your world will look like. If you zoom in, you can see a bit closer. So as you can see, it has rivers. You can change all of this stuff. You can make the ocean bigger, continent scale. I always like to turn that down so there is more ocean. You can add more coastland, more inland. You can just do everything. You can change the temperature, biome shape, terrain region. Bring that down. Villagers has all these features. You click done, done, create new world. And then when you spawn, you'll have the world you created. So this world is gonna have a lot of ocean and rivers. So this next mod is called Oh The Biomes You Go and it adds some really pretty biomes to the game. I've talked about this before, but I'm including it again because more people need to be aware of this mod. It is so cute. It adds some of these new biomes, as you can see that I'm showing you. It adds all these new materials here, like new types of sand, sandstone, all these colored planks right here, like all these pretty pinks too and greens and all these different types of flowers. So I'm gonna use this compass and teleport to a few biomes. This is the jacaranda forest. This gives you the pinky purple planks, which is so cute. This is an ancient forest, which is also really freaking cool. It adds these pollen blocks to the trees. It's very ancient looking. It's very pretty. Here is a cherry blossom. Then there is also this biome, which is a weeping witch biome. 
So this is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please leave a like if you have and subscribe if you aren't already if you are enjoying my content and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.